promised you guys a video about uh, a little bit more detail about how to make four mounts fiberglass for those of you who watched my teardrop video. Um, I built this trailer a couple of years ago using that same technique and I did get a little bit more footage uh, while I built it that hopefully will be helpful. So this is the finished product. This has been outside a couple of years. The four mounts fiberglass is still in perfect condition. This is just a little cargo trailer that I built for uh, my little woodworking business. Uh, of course, since I built a trailer, then I had to build a shed uh, and a lean-to for it. That's kind of how things work in my world. But if I have if I have one project, it turns into four projects, uh, which turn into eight. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is the finished product, and uh, we can probably maybe try to get a little bit of a close-up here, and then there'll just be a few little video clips and a few different pictures of the process along the way that will hopefully help. The biggest key factors with getting the four man's fiberglass, so first of all, four man's fiberglass is basically canvas glued on, so a canvas drop cloth, and then paint. And you start with a diluted like 50-50 paint water mix, um, and then you build up, and then eventually get a couple of good coats of an exterior paint. And if you sand it in between, you get this really nice, uh, beautiful, smooth finish. And it's very hardy. I mean, a lot of planes and boats and stuff were made this way historically. And there's wood, you know, underneath that poor man's fiberglass from, you know, uh, decades and decades ago that's in, in really good shape. So anyway, um, let's see if we can maybe try to get a little bit of a close up of this. that pool noodle, um, the canvas, and now I'm just pressing it, making sure that there's no little creases. It's actually really a lot more forgiving than you think. When you first start putting it up, you'll be like, oh my gosh, you know, it's kind of wrinkling. Uh, press it really well first, um, and then you can pretty much work out any imperfections, and then later when you sand it, the rest of it will end up perfectly smooth, so um, don't stress too much about it. It'll, it'll all work out. I'm just working the edges. I uh, just did a spacer a little bit more than two inches. Uh, they'll have overlap on both sides. So I'm just marking out my line and then cutting it carefully. Um, I found that by taking a slight round over, just an eighth inch um, round over with my router bit, uh, really makes the canvas roll around and work a lot better, especially on the teardrop where I had the curved surface. Um, it was very easy. This surface is a little bit more challenging. Um, because I have these a little bit sharper angles on this little cargo trailer. So uh, we'll see how the final product looks. So far, I'm fairly pleased with that side. Um, again, there will be an overlap the other way as well. Uh, but what I really like about this canvas is even when we're combining thin surfaces, uh, this whole canvas acts like a big hug to hold it all together. So uh, more than if I were to just, you know, paint it, there'd be a lot of weak points. But this canvas, especially when you add the paint to it, makes a really nice, hard, strong hug around the 